It's, uh, it's, uh, I'm happy to note that uh, ISRO has finally acknowledged the fact that the lander has been found because the or orbiter has been taking photographs. It was on a polar orbit and it has been taking photographs and of that place, they naturally found the lander, which earlier, and now they have acknowledged it. Um, the main thing which is going to be important is, what is the condition of the lander? As I have heard that the lander has actually fallen on one side. Now, there's going to be no person going there and picking it up. And so essentially, we will have to establish contact, communication contact with the lander, which is going to be difficult because we have been trying and ISRO has been trying. Then try and see what is the status, what is the state of the lander? What are the payloads? Because if it has fallen, and which most likely it has, mm -hmm. there are going to be the payloads are not going to be in the same. What is the condition of Pragya? So, and I don't know how they are going to lift it up or get it working. So I don't think uh, from that point of view, uh, much can be done mm -hmm. of putting the uh, lander into action. But um, the other aspect is that at least we'll come to know what was the problem when it really uh, sort of fell down or did it make a soft landing or what happened. So all these mysteries will be uh, hopefully a little more easier to unravel. But the main thing is we've got to establish communication. And as the days go uh, more, I think it becomes a little more difficult for us to do it. Firstly, I won't accept that it is a setback. It is a major complex mission which has gone close to 99% uh, success. It is a great gesture by the Honorable Prime Minister of uh, India. It is uh, a great morale booster for the scientists who have seen the last uh, mile uh, glitch in the mission. Normally, scientists, when they take up complex missions like this, even for a small glitch also, the time, the morale of the scientists will be down for that time. So, at that time, the gestures shown by the leadership of the country boost the morale of the scientists to think ahead and go ahead. The Honourable Prime Minister, the gesture what he has shown, the speech what he has given at that moment and uh, finally taking uh, the Chairman of ISRO into his lap and showing the gesture what all of us have seen is something what we expect from a great leader. Uh, I think after that gesture, ISRO scientists again started working on the mission, what actually happened and uh, uh, started looking for it. And I think that's how they could locate the rover also. Uh, and I think they will be doing the further studies.